Cannot wait for this next segment because it features one of our favorite people to ever grace the desk here in Studio B. He is the current offensive coordinator for Troy University, Ryan Pugh, back on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline via Zoom. Ryan, it is reuniting up, time, and it feels so good. How are you, man? I'm doing great, guys. It's so good to be back. Uh, See, so you guys are just picking up where I left off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're trying, man. We're, we're doing our best here in studio. Uh, do you miss us as much as we miss you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I enjoyed uh, all the times that, and opportunities I got to come on your show and, and that experience alone uh, for any coach, any player. Uh, it's definitely unique to BYU, and it's something that I think has not only helped me in my career, but just in general as a person and, and dealing with any type of media and, and being able to go live is always, um, it's always fun. Well, you were here for the one year in 2018 as the offensive line coach, and I thought, ah, I really hope we can keep Ryan for at least one more year. Um, you, you bounced for an awesome opportunity at Troy as the offensive coordinator and the yeah. offensive line coach. And, and the reason is, one, you're from Alabama, but two, you have a, a deep connection with Chip Lindsey and I think your dad and Alabama high school football, right? That's right. Uh, Chip and I uh, met my senior year of high school. Uh, I was leaving, graduating, headed to Auburn when he came in to Hoover High School as the offensive coordinator. And then uh, I think he stayed one year at Hoover High School. Then he goes to Lasseter High School in, in Marietta, Georgia. My dad had retired in the state of Alabama after um, all of 25, 27 years. And Chip asked him to go with him. Uh, so dad went with him and we linked back up. He followed me. I was, we had just got let go at Auburn in 2012 and he goes in 2013. Um, and then here we are today, just great relationship, great friendship um, over the years and, and just really thankful to him for the opportunity he's given me. One game down, you take care of Middle Tennessee 47-14 as the offensive coordinator. Now you get to face BYU. What is this week like emotionally as you prepare for BYU and to reunite with several of your former staff members and guys that you recruited? I think there's a, a lot of different emotions. I, I felt them, you know, sporadically throughout the few months that we've been leading up to this game, really hoping that, we can keep everything healthy, keep both teams healthy, get to the game on Saturday. Those emotions, uh, the emotions of seeing uh, coaches and players that you worked with before and coached, and also my players. There are a lot of my guys are asking me and the coaching staff asking me about BYU. Um, you know, that just brings back a lot of really good memories for us um, as a family and then me as a coach, but really just focused on um, – our game plan here at Troy, trying not to get caught up in the emotions of the game. Uh, certainly, it's going to be a, a exciting day for myself and our team coming up there. Obviously, the connection with uh, Jeff Grimes is a strong one. Uh, he coached you at Auburn, and you were together at other stops uh, on the way with Jeff, leading to this point, including BYU here. In fact, uh, Gregor Bell asked Jeff Grimes yesterday on Coordinator's Corner about you. And the Trojans OC, Coach Jeff Grimes, is your former protege and good buddy, Ryan Pugh. Um, not my good buddy this week. <laughs> <laughs> Are you equally not his good buddy this week, Ryan? I guess so. You know, I didn't get that vibe from him. But I see that he is he's definitely kicked me to the curb this week. Uh, I guess I'll block his phone number now so that he can't reach out to me, talk to me at all. You know, if he if he wants to play hardball, I guess we can play hardball <laughs> and try to maintain our friendship through this game. But yeah, I see that him taking the first shot. I'm I'm now on the defensive side of the the conversation here. So, but no, I think obviously I hope and, and know that he's being being facetious. I think that it's obviously in jest. And then we're just for us, it, it is an I guess not an awkward time but it's definitely a time where um you can have some cat and mouse you can have uh just normal conversation and we talk so regularly anyways that this week is probably going to be no different but understanding there's a focus and a game at the end of the week that we're going to be on opposing sidelines for the first time in our career and i think that's going to be something obviously that's going to bring a lot of emotion to the game 
Is it going to be weird that you are calling plays for one team and he is calling plays for the other on offense? This is, pre- this is pretty wild, right? Yeah, it, it's definitely something I've thought about. Obviously, um, we're excited to, to come up there and feel good about our team here at Troy. Uh, feel like their opportunity to match up well with BYU. Um, BYU looked great in the first game against Navy. Um, having known a lot of those guys on that side of the ball, I think that helps in our preparation. But at the same time, a lot of new faces that um, were there but maybe didn't get to play uh, when when I was coaching there. And certainly um, they're going to be ever-changing, evolving as a defense. I think you can see that in the first week. And just really uh, impressed by the defense just watching the Navy game. When you watched what BYU's offensive line did against Navy, what kind of emotions were you experiencing because of the ties you have, not just with Jeff, just with Jeff Grimes, but with guys that you coached in 2018? Well, I didn't even watch the offense. So I just turned the television off when the offense went on the field. So I didn't have to talk to Jeff about how the offensive <laughs> line did. Um, no, I'm kidding. They look good. You know, that was, it was fun to see how those guys have grown and, and matured as players and come together as a unit. Obviously, I mean, most all of those players played for us uh, in 2018 when I was there. And so um, certainly was excited to see the success they've had. And, and really, now that they're hopefully healthy, um, you know, ready to go this week. Let's talk about your offense. Obviously, uh, Gunnar Watson uh, had, a, had a nice game, uh, the sophomore quarterback. Khalil McClain, really impressive, multiple touchdowns. B.J. Smith back after uh, an injury that he only played in two games last year at running back. Tell us about your offense, your style, some of the playmakers to watch. I think at Troy, we want to be explosive first and foremost. We want to be able to push the ball vertically down the field in the passing game. Um, stretch the field horizontally, make the defense play every inch of space on the field. Um, we want to play with good tempo. We want to play mistake free. Obviously, we want to be able to get our quarterback in the best situation to throw the football down the field. Um, but really, our whole focus goes around getting the ball, like you said, in playmakers hands. And so we're going to identify the guys for us uh, that can make plays on offense and get them in as much space um, as possible as as often as possible. And so that's certainly our our MO and what we do on offense. You, you already talked about Khalil McLean and BJ Smith. I think Kalen Geiger, Reggie Todd, Trey Eford, those guys, uh, Kamani Badal, all the weapons on offense that, that we have and that are returning from last year. Um, I think that's what's exciting. And then Gunner being able to get his first career start last week on the road uh, was a big was a big deal for him and and our football team and he showed some really some good toughness there and and we had some youth up front um, as far as experience goes Um, those guys being able to get their first start so a lot to build on it's always easier to build on things uh, after a win but certainly got plenty to to correct plenty to get better at on offense and we're we're excited about the challenge we have this week ahead of us uh with BYU's defense. And I think our, our young men, they'll be prepared um, and, and they'll be excited to go when they get there. We're talking with Troy offensive coordinator, Ryan Pugh on BYU sports nation. You mentioned the BYU defense. What is the most challenging thing about facing BYU's defense after you watch film and because you have some background on what they do? I think the, the biggest thing is they're always in position. Uh, they play extremely hard. They, they're physical, uh, no doubt about that. Having known those guys, you understand their athletic abilities and, and their skill sets, and you understand when you watch the tape um, what Coach Tuiaki, Coach Lamb, Coach Alt, Satake, all those guys, Preston, Gennaro, what they're doing to try to play to their strengths. I think they do an unbelievable job of playing to their strengths on defense, um, understanding the challenge we have in front of us, but just the physicality in which they play, the, the speed, that you saw on the field on on Labor Day night when they played Navy, seeing those guys really disciplined football man. They, they're not they're not out of position. You don't see a lot of uh, mistakes by them. They get lined up well and they rotate a lot of guys in there. You know that's the thing. There's a lot of depth uh, on that defense and certainly is going to be a tremendous challenge for us. But um, we'll be up to it. On the Troy side, defensively, 106 takeaways since 2016 is second in the country during that span. What is it about this Troy defense that is so good? 
they, they are a lot like us on offense and, and on defense, very opportunistic, very uh, try to limit the big plays, um, use play to our strengths, use our speed on defense, um, really be sound. And then I think our, our defensive coordinator, Brandon Hall, and, and all of our assistant coaches on defense, they do a great job of emphasizing the importance of taking the ball away and getting the ball back for us on offense. I think that's huge. When you can win the turnover margin each week, you're going to have an opportunity uh, to win the field position, and then that's going to lead to more wins and on the scoreboard. And so just playing team football, defense playing off of the offense and the offense playing off the defense, because we all know that we would love to score uh, 47 plus points every week and have our defense score uh, as well and play great on special teams. But there's going to be those games where one side of the ball is struggling and we got to pick up the slack for them or they've got to pick up the slack for us. And so uh, just continuing to play team football, but play with a lot of great energy. I think that's the thing um, that's going to be so exciting the, uh, Saturday night when we come up to BYU and Provo. Uh, you saw a team that played against Navy that had to bring their own energy with no one in the stands, and they did a tremendous job of that. And very similar situation for us last week um, at, in Murfreesboro, playing Middle Tennessee, a reduced capacity. Um, you know, I joke with my guys, friends and family only. And so it's um, – <laughs> you get – you've got to bring a lot of energy and, and sometimes that's easy to do when you get a lead, when you get ahead um, and, and you can really be positive about everything. But I think when adversity strikes and how we respond to that and continuing to fight through with such positive energy and, and great leadership from our team and coaching staff, um, that's going to be a, a really fun atmosphere to see uh, two teams whose programs are really energetic on the sidelines. Ryan, what a great opportunity we've had to catch up with you. Uh, always nice to talk. I hope you know that outside of this week, we're the biggest Troy fans like Jeff Grimes. And uh, we wish the best to you, your wife, your two kids, uh, health and safety. And can't wait to see you in Provo, man. Well, I appreciate you guys. And if you guys want to do a pregame radio show, the last time I did that was against Wisconsin, as you guys know. And so if, if we can pull that off in Provo this week to set us up for some great success Saturday night, that would be wonderful. I'd love to catch up with you guys. <laughs> Not this week, brother. Not this week. <laughs> hey, great hey, stuff, man. It's all right. I, I'm a BYU fan every other week except this week as well, man. Right on. We love it. Tell you, we'll see you in Provo. Safe travels. See you guys. Appreciate it. Ryan Pugh on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. He's great.